Money, money you know you love. love. Devon? <laughs> Y'all can see it too. <laughs> Sorry. Money you know you just love. Bernard Jordan. Money, money you, you know, know you love. 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 Uh, love. Devon? There was a reason why Jesus said Lazarus come forth and not just come forth. Everybody. Sometimes you've got to get definite with the infinite and define what money loves. I do not serve money, but Reverend Ike always says money serves me. Now, Read on Prophet Kelly. Because money is energy, it must flow freely. See, there must be a flow. If there's not a flow, you abuse the purpose of money, which is currency. When you look up that word currency, it comes out of the word current. There's got to be a flow. When there's no currency, you have stopped up your money. Read on. Hoarding stops the flow. That is for those of you individuals that are saving your money. I told you the other day, poor people deal with money different than the rich. What do poor people do with their money? They save it, it, right? Poor people save their money while rich people do what? Thanks. Bank it. Bank it. Bank it. Bank it. <laughs> Poor people do what? Save. Save. Rich people do what? Bank, bank it. And that's why you're supposed to notice the banks you are passing when you go from point A to point B. Prophet Skelly, have you noticed that noticing the banks that you pass coming from tuxedo to here? Yes, I, I always notice them. <laughs> I have to see where my connections are. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So you become conscious. Yes, yes. And they recently closed one. See, that wasn't good for me. <laughs> you took notice oh, of a yes. bank that closed. Oh, yes. That's oh, right. Yes. Stoltzberg? Oh, yes. and, when, and, and when a bank closes in your town, that says something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Someone was not alert. See, poor people save their money. Rich people bank. See, you should never drive by a bank unconsciously. Because if you drive by a bank and you're unconscious of the bank, you'll step over the sacks of money that are sitting Mm. in your feet all the time. Jesus. You've got to respect money. For money to respect you. Yes. Respect money. Thank you. Now, read on Prophet Kelly. Hoarding creates a wall of stopped energy. Good. Hoarding creates a wall of stopped up energy. It just stops up the energy. No one can stop you from having more money. See, Mm -hmm. see, this is why I was trying to stop the other person from Mm -hmm. talking in the chat room because the only one stopping you from having more money is you. Mm -hmm. Prophetess Masquerine is already talking to us today. She says, I passed 10 banks today. Mm -hmm. See, that's why she's always able to do a thousand dollars scene. She's aware of money. She's aware of where her friends hang out. (laughs) (laughs) See, some of you don't know where your friends are hanging. That's why they won't come play with you. Mm-hmm. 212-316-2177. Terry Lynn says that. What does Terry Lynn says in the chat room, Prophet Kelly? So hoarding causes constipated money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and that's what people say, I don't have. I can't. Now, these phones should start ringing off the hook with people doing a $108 C today. 
Because when I give you this mystic secret, you're going to understand how valuable or the miracle your 108 is getting ready to create. Now, Reverend Ike also taught me that money as a, is a state of mind. He taught me money is a mood, a thought, an attitude, an idea. So therefore I says, well, what was that? Money is a state of mind. It's a mood. It's a thought. It's an idea. Reverend Ike says, yes. That's why you got to cultivate the feeling of money. You got to have prosperity mood swings. And that's why your mind has got to become a comfort zone for money. So you got to become conscious of bank. Now, Reverend Ike was a big tither. He would tithe the first Sunday of the year for the entire year. He didn't just do it week to week. He says, in the beginning of the year, I tithe the income I know that I'm going to get. So I started at the beginning of the year to start doing $50,000 at the beginning of the year. I started tithing in advance. So everything I give throughout the year, profit on the hill, is all offered. Because seeding don't start until you give beyond 10%. Offering starts at, offering starts beyond 10%. When you're giving 9% of your money, you still have not become a giver. So. I would ask Reverend about tithing. This is what Reverend taught us about tithing. He said, tithing creates the conscious awareness and source of money. Mm -hmm. When you tithe, it creates not only the conscious awareness, but it lets you know that you're returning the money back to the source. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's why you bring it into spiritual places and churches and congregations. And you don't want to sow your money in a church that is preaching poverty or lack of saying money is no good. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to watch what ground you sow your friends in. There's got to be a, hof a, a healthy, prosperous ministry. That's what you need to sow into. Not something failing. Notice the prophet Elijah did not go to the widow woman at Zarephath and say, ma'am, this is my magazine. I'm the prophet Elijah. This is the bird over here that was feeding me that has died. <laughs> over here is the brook that God <laughs> set me by. The name of it is right there, Kieran. It has run dry. Mm. Flip it over. If you don't give to that, <laughs> this prophet will not live. And the birds are dying all around us. Can you help? No. He didn't go, you know, he didn't go there with that. He went to the to the widow woman at Zarephath, showing her the potential of what kind of world her seed is ready to create. Money is the power to create. Your $108 seed that everyone tonight is to sow, all 400 of you on the phone line listening to me today, don't let the sun rise without your 108 of the seed in this ground here today. Don't let the sun come up. Some of you might need to get in your car. This may become a ritual for you. <laughs> Put your sandals on. Stick your brown feet in those sandals. And take your brown hands and reach over for the car keys. And just drive until you find you a Walmart, Target, Costco, Piggly Wiggly, wherever you're at in your neck of the woods. <laughs> Neck of the woods, thank you, Prophet Thompson. 